This video is the uh, first video for lab 6, which is a design of a 4-bit uh, multiplier. So in this first video, I'm just going to show how to multiply uh, two binary uh, numbers together. So you can see we have several examples here of two 4-bit binary numbers being multiplied. And this top binary number I'm going to label as A and then this binary number I'm going to label as B. And the way multiplication is done in binary is you're looking at this binary number that I have labeled B and any time um, a bit of B is equal to zero um, you're just going to add zero to the total but when a bit of this binary number B is a one you're going to add either A or a shifted version of A to the total. So we just start with the least significant bit of B and you can see here in this example that uh, it's zero so I'm just going to write down all zeros. Okay then the next bit is a one so we're going to add a shifted version of A where it's shifted one place over to the left. So I just put A like this Okay, and then we have uh, the next bit of B is equal to a 1, so I'm going to add to this total a shifted version of A that shifted two places to the left. So that's going to be this here, and then the most significant bit of, the most significant bit of B is 0, so I'm just going to add 0 to this total that I have. Okay, so now we add these all together. So it's going to be 0 with a carry of 1. And here we have a 3, so 1 with a carry of 1, 0, and then a 1. <coughs> so let's see, we can check to see if uh, this came out right. So this is uh, binary for a 7. This is binary for 6. So we multiplied 7 times 6 in binary, so our result should be 42. So let's check here. This is the 1s, the 2s, the 4s, the 8s, 16s, 32s. So as you can see, it comes out 32 plus 8 plus 2, so 42. So we got the right answer. Okay, let's do another example. Again, this is A, this is B. So here the first bit of B is a 1, so I'm just going to uh, use A in my total. Okay, not shifted. If this least significant bit of B is a 1, then you just take A um, not shifted. But if the next bit here, um, the bit to the left of the least significant bit is a 1, then you um, add a shifted version of A that just shifted one place to the left. Uh, the next column here would be a shifted version of A two places, and then the most significant, it would be a shifted version of A three places. So continuing on here, the next bit of B is a zero, so you just add zero to the total. And now uh, this next bit of next bit of B is a 1, so you add a shifted version of A that's been shifted two places uh, to the left. So that would be this here. And then the most significant would be a 0, so again, it just adds 0 to the total. Okay, so now we add all these, we get 1, 0, so 0 with a carry of 1, 1, 1. So let's check if this came out correctly. So this is 5, and this is also 5, so we should get 25 as a result. Let's see, the 1s, the 2s, the 4s, the 8s, the 16s, the 32s. So we have 16 plus 8 plus 1, which is 25. So again, works out. Okay, so this one here, we're multiplying 15 times 15, right? So this is the max case where 
both inputs are a max value. So um, in each case, we're adding, well, first, you know, we're taking this as A and this is B. So first, we just have A, right, because of this first bit of B being a 1. But now with all these bits being 1, we're just adding A to shifted versions of A. So here's A shifted one place to the left. Here's A shifted two places to the left. And here's A shifted three places to the left. Okay, so the way we can do this here is we can um, just take this and first add these two together. So we have one, zero, carry the one, 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 one. All right, so that's these two added. And now I can add that to this here. So what I get here, I get one, zero, zero, carry the one, 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 zero, carry the one. Okay, and then add it to this one. So we get one, zero, 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 carry the one. Okay, so we end up with uh, this result. So let's make sure this came out correctly. So this is the ones, the twos, the fours, the eights, the 16, 32, 64, 128. So we have 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 1. So that's, um, let's see if that comes out correct here. One, two, four. Let's see. Oh, this is a four. That was what was throwing me off. This is a 64 here. So we got A plus four plus two plus one. So that's 15. So five, one. So three nine twelve so two one so two twenty five like it should okay yeah it's just my sloppy writing here that's this is a four I was looking at that as though it was um a nine <laughs> okay so um as the as these three examples show uh to do binary uh multiplication. Uh, the key thing is you're looking at the, the second binary number here, and then depending on what the bit value is, you're either adding 0 or you're adding A or a shifted version of A to a total. So in the next video for Lab 6, uh, we'll look at the actual uh, logic circuit we'll be using to do this multiplication that involves an FSM, a finite state machine, that's controlling an accumulator in a shift register to perform the uh, multiplication.